Hello Woodland friends, it's Sarah here. I wanted to read a story for you guys today. This story is called Little Prickles. Do you see the cute little porcupine right here? I like his little pokey quills all over his body. What I really like about this story is the authors. These are Montessori children just like you guys. They went to Montessori school and learned that writing is really fun and they love to draw pictures. And so Gavin and Kate and Lainey all decided to work together on this project. They wrote the story and they drew all the pictures by themselves. I think that's really special. Shall we hear it? I'm going to hold it like this. There's only pictures on this side of the book and the words are over here. So this way I can see the words and you can see the pictures. Okay? All right. Little Prickles the Porcupine cried to his mommy, No one likes to play with me. I'm too prickly. I hate my sharp pointy quills. Oh, my dear little prickles, you need your quills to keep you safe, his mommy said softly. One day they may come in handy, and I think your quills make you look quite handsome, said Mama Prickles. So little prickles went off to another lonely day at school. Nobody would tag him when they played tag. Ouch! Nobody would go on the slide with him. Ouch! Ouch! He never got tapped for duck, duck, goose. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Other kids weren't ducks or geese and they got tapped. He wished he never had quills. Even Stinky the Skunk was more fun to play with. At least he didn't hurt. So he got pencils and was very, very grumpy. When Speedy the Turtle asked if he wanted to go swimming, Little Prickles grumbled. Just go away. I'm too prickly. And when Slimy the Salamander asked if Little Prickles wanted to play on the swings, all Slimy heard was, Go away. I'm too prickly. And when Quackers the Duck asked if he wanted to play checkers, the answer was once again, Go away. I'm too prickly. He answered them all without ever looking up in his grumpy, grumpy voice. Hmm. One day at school, Mrs. Hoop was teaching them how to write the alphabet. The best way to write well, said Mrs. Hoot, is to have a nice, thin, sharp stick. If any of you have toothpicks at home, they work very well. You just dip the stink stick in ink and... Wait, screeched Little Prickles. I have tons of nice, thin, sharp quills that would work perfectly. But you need those to keep you safe, Little Prickles, reminded Mrs. Hoot. But I have so many. It's okay, Mrs. Hoot, said Little Prickles. So everyone crammed around Little Prickles, but not too close. And one by one, they each pulled out a quill. Little Prickles beamed from ear to ear. At home that night, Mama Prickles asked, Little Prickles, what happened to your quills? It seems like some are missing. Oh, Mama, it was the best day at school. I gave everyone a quill to write with. They came in handy, just like you said, he exclaimed. That wasn't quite what I meant by handy, Little Prickles. Your quills are an important part of you. They're what make you, you. The next morning at school, Little Prickles heard, I broke my quill. Can I have another? I lost my quill. Can I have another? My mommy wants one. My daddy wants one. My sister wants one. And so, one by one, Little Prickles gave away more and more and more quills until by the time Mrs. Hoot arrived at the she gasped. <gasps> Little prickles, what has happened to 
all your quills? She asked with a trembling voice. I gave them away to all my new friends, old prickle, little Prickles blurted out happily. You did what? stammered Mrs. Hoot. But little Prickles, look at your nice pink skin. You're a very tasty meal for a hungry fox now. In all of his happiness at having new friends, little Prickles hadn't realized just how few quills he had left. He swallowed a big lump in his throat. He sat by himself and felt scared and sad. Mrs. Hoot was right. Without his quills, he was a nice, tasty treat for a big, mean animal. Without his quills, he did not feel like a porcupine. Without his quills, he didn't feel like himself anymore. Two big tears filled down his cheeks. Mrs. Hoot saw his tears and spoke softly to the class. Little Prickles was very kind and generous to give everyone quills and more quills, and even more quills. He shared little parts of himself with all of you. Mrs. Hoot turned to Little Prickles and said, You don't need to give away everything that is important to you to be liked. You can be liked for who you are, quills and all. But nobody likes me, Mrs. Hoot cried Little Prickles. The class looked confused. Goggles the raccoon spoke up. It wasn't your prickly quills that we didn't like. It was because you were always so grumpy. When we asked you to play, you always grumbled. Go away. I'm too prickly. I thought nobody wanted to be near me, muttered Little Prickles. Buzzy the bee chimed in. Being a bee isn't easy either. I have a stinger that can hurt too. But there are still lots of games that I can play with my friends. We may not want to get too, too close to you, but we'd still like to be your friend. You would? asked Little Prickles. Yes, 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 yelled the whole class. Little Prickles could not stop the huge grin that appeared on his face. It felt much better to smile than to be sad and grumpy. Now, what are we going to do with you, little Prickles? asked Mrs. Hoot, looking at his big pink tummy. Little Prickles' classmates knew exactly what to do. From that day on, they promised to keep little Prickles safe until his new quills grew back. Every day, they formed a circle around little Prickles and walked him all the way home to safety. And Little Prickles happily joined in all the games he could play with his friends. It took a while for Little Prickles' quills to grow back. When he looked like a porcupine again, Mama Prickles said, Little Prickles, I have something for you. She plucked a quill from her side and said, Take this. There. And use it wisely. Every time you write with it, remember it is what makes you special. Little Prickles carried the quill carefully to school. And on top of every paper, he wrote, I am Little Prickles, quills and all. The end. What do you guys think? Do you think they wrote a good story? Did you like the pictures that they drew to go with it? I know I did. I thought it was a very fun story. I wonder if you guys will feel inspired to get some paper and pencil and maybe write your own story. I'm thinking about Alex and how you used to always make stories and staple them together and then leave them in the library in Lilac class for your friends to read. Sometimes you would read them to your friends and sometimes they could read them by themselves. It's a really fun thing to do if you have paper and pencils at home. I hope that I get to read some of your stories very soon when we can all be together again. Have a good time at home. Bye, guys.